A high school student is recovering tonight after being stabbed during a fight. And this incident inside Frederick Douglass High School happened this morning, all caught on camera. Maryland Bureau Chief uh, Brad Bell, live in Upper Marlboro with the story for us. Brad, what's the latest on this? Well, Leon, just in the last half hour, police have finally cleared the scene at this school. And we have learned that a 14-year-old boy is now charged as, an, as a juvenile for his alleged assault on a 16-year-old. The video is taken by a student. We've blurred the faces. It's a fight between two freshmen in their school uniforms. You can hear the screams. There's a quick glimpse of what appears to be the knife in one student's hand. Other students wrestle him to the ground. He is bruised from punches landed. The other off-camera student in the fight suffers a stab wound to his chest. It's crazy, man. Like, like those people that like, I go to school with. This 11th grader calls his mother to go home. He's rattled by what he sees. There were blood drippings around the stairwell, and when you hear something like this, it just unnerves you completely. There is a huge police presence, more than a dozen cruisers parked in front of the high school. The school also has the fight on security camera video. Police are reviewing that footage and interviewing students. We are told by students that the boy with the knife had been bullied, and police confirm today's fight is a carryover from an earlier incident. All I know is that there was a physical altercation between two students. One of the students produced a, a, a pocket knife and stabbed the other. As word spreads, more students ask to go home. This parent says his daughter is tired of violence. Uh, more or less, I think the kids just got to find a better way of how to deal with situations. Now, earlier today, police told us that the student who was stabbed in the chest suffered a serious injury tonight. We are told that he is recovering well and is expected to go home fairly soon. In Upper Marlboro, Brad Bell, ABC 7 News.